Today I'm going to show you how to solve a common problem that we have when we work with Geometry Nodes and Textures. First of all, let's take the camera, the light, and go to Geometry Nodes. Let's create a new profile. I'm going to select the Material View, so we can see any texture, any material. And let's open a new tab and select the Shade Editor. So let's create a texture, for example, let's delete this. And let's add a nice texture. Let's write it here. And let's give more contrast with color run. So we have this texture, this object, and now what I want is to animate this cube. But I don't want to do it from here, from the transform. I want to do it from the geometry nodes, because later probably we are going to use some nodes, set position, transform, etc. So let's use, for example, transform. And let's add it here. I'm going to close this panel. So if we try to move this cube from geometry nodes, Look what is going to happen with the texture. I'm going to move it in this axis so you can see better. As you can see, when I'm pushing this cube in the x axis, the texture is still, doesn't move, as you can see. And this happens with an animation, even so with rotations. So, how we can solve this? To solve this, we have to do something. So what we have to do basically is release it. We have to capture or store an attribute. I'm going to use a store name attribute. You can use this or capture attribute. I prefer this one because we have less wires. So now the question is, what do we have to store to make this texture follow the object? By the way, if you try to move this object from here, of course, it's working perfectly. But the point of this tutorial is to do it with this. So what we have to get is the position. The position before any transform, any movement, rotation, scale. So later we can send this position to here. So let's connect here position. And really important, here select vector. Because we are working with vectors. And now let's give a name. For example, pos from position. So now we have to send this information to the shade editor. So the shade editor will know exactly the position of this cube. So to do this, the only thing we have to do is to bring here attribute node, this one. And connect this here. You can use this one too. And use the same word that you wrote here. So I'm going to write pause. Mission completed. And now as you can see, if we try to move this, look, the texture is following the object inside Geometry Nodes. So any transform you're going to apply, the texture will work perfectly. As you can see with rotations, and even so with the scale. And one thing really, really, really important, you have to do this before any transform. So if I put this before this node, look, now if I try to move this, it's not working, because we are getting the position after this animation. So really important, you have to move this before any node that apply a transformation, like this one, set position, rotation, whatever. And for example, if you use another object created inside, for example, let's create a UV sphere. Let's create it here. Now to see the material, remember, we have to add set material and use the same material. I'm going to change the color to make it like a planet. For example, green, and this, let's make it blue. And I'm going to increase this. As you can see, if we try to move this, it works perfectly. By the way, if you want to transform to change the texture, what you can do is to apply before this a mapping node. So with this, you can move the position of this texture, the rotation, the scale, whatever. So this is how you solve the problem of a texture not following an object inside Geometry Nodes. So I hope you learned something new and now you don't have any more this problem. If you like this video, give a like, subscribe and remember you can donate this project and many more on my Patreon. And see you in the next video.